क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन बालचंद्र मैन्युफैक्चरिंग लिमिटेड हैज परचेज वन मशीन फॉर सेवेंटी थ्री थाउजेंड ऑन वन फोर ट्वेल्व इट्स इंस्टॉलेशन एक्सपेंसिस वॉज टू थाउजेंड इट वॉज डिसाइडेड टू प्रोवाइड डेप्रिसिएशन एट परसेंट ऑन द स्ट्रेट लाइन मैटर कंपनी रिकॉर्ड डेप्रिसिएशन बाई क्रिएटिंग डेप्रिसिएशन प्रोविजन ना फ्रॉम द एबल इंफॉर्मेशन पास जर्नल एंट्री प्रिपेयर डेप्रिसिएशन प्रोविजन अकाउंट डेप्रिसिएशन अकाउंट फॉर फर्स्ट टू ईयर्स इन द बुक्स ऑफ कंपनी Now here there is this new introduction of depreciation provision account. This is the uh, one more matter of recording depreciation. So here I already ready with the calculation which has to be done and the solution. Now here first before I start, I'll first explain the provision for depreciation. What is it and why? Where we have to record it? Under this matter, the amount of depreciation is decided on the basis of predetermined method of depreciation. Predetermined method means it can be a straight line method or it can be a reducing balance method. यानी कि अभी तक हम जैसे solve कर रहे हैं हमको वैसे ही solve करना है Depreciation amount is debited to depreciation account and credited to the depreciation provision account. Now this is something new. Normally when we used to give journal entry from so long, we give depreciation account to machinery account, P&L account to depreciation. But when in the question they told you for the depreciation provision that time the entry will be depreciation account will be debited and depreciation provision account will be credited the another entry will be same that pnl at the end of the year what we uh, pass the entry to the profit and loss account now in this manner what exactly happened why this has been prepared that is in this manner depreciation amount right of every year will be accumulated in depreciation account consequently the amount of depreciation would increase every year means hum har saal jo depreciation minus karte hain wo pura ek calculate hoke ek alag se depreciation provision batayenge that i will explain you while going with the question solution now this accumulated amount shows total amount of depreciation of the respective year now from the cost price of asset the total amount of depreciation provision is deducted and the disclose on the asset side of the balance sheet which we normally used to do hum jaise ab tak jaise kar rahe the humko waise hi batana hai but jab depreciation provision hoga depreciation ki value plus ho jayegi for the last year at the end of the every accounting year now while the amount has been debited the depreciation is to transfer profit and loss account that we are learning from the final account as well aur ab hum jaise pnl account aur balance sheet bana rahe the hum wohi banayenge the amount of depreciation of year get accumulated in depreciation provision account it is also known as accumulated depreciation account depreciation jo har saal ka amount hai jo sab saath accumulate yani ke add add kar dete hain wo sare addition of depreciation will move to the depreciation provision account this theory will be more clear and understandable when we'll solve with the question this is the theory which have to be written down in your notebook now directly i'll show you the calculation how it has to be done now here the opening balance what we used to do from the last so many question that is the same here we first we'll just find out the cost price as we are going to remove 8% depreciation under straight line matter so here the depreciation cost price is 75000 where we are going to remove 8% on it here the answer is 6000 Now, as per the company record depreciation by creating depreciation provision, here we are going to solve journal entry, depreciation account, and depreciation provision account for first two years. So let's start with the solution of the journal entry. Now, in journal entry, first we'll show the entry when it has been purchased. Here is the date one four twelve. One four twelve. The machinery comes in. the machinery account will be debited with the amount 75000 where the main value of the machinery is 73000 whereas the installation charges will be written as a cash account 2000 then on 31st march 2013 depreciation will be calculated so we'll write down depreciation account debited as we calculate and we found 
depreciation is 6000 in the last method we used to write down machinery account but when we are going under depreciation provision so that time we'll credit depreciation provision account that is the only difference when you are solving journal entry then at the end of the year the depreciation value move to the profit and loss account so same entry we have to pass for the journal entry for the year to depreciation account that is 6000 so here we end up with the one year as this is the straight line method we'll continue for the second year but the amount will be there is no more changes the depreciation value will be same as uh, last year so we are going to repeat the value of depreciation for the next year that is depreciation account debited to depreciation provision provision account again the value will be same just the year is different that is 2014 31st March 14 again for the end of the year moving to the profit and loss account entry will be shown to depreciation account this is very simple and easy when you are doing with the straight line method but just be careful when you are solving reducing balance method what amount have to be calculated because every year we used to calculate right so here we are complete the journal entry now here is the ledger of the depreciation and provision of and dep depreciation provision account so here the account is ready let's make a ledger posting on it these are the ledgers right ledgers of the company the so first in the first entry we i found depreciation on the debit side the is this the depreciation account come to the debit side and write down the date and the amount that is 31 330 and the amount is 6000 but what we have to write in the particular we have to write the opposite side that is the credit side it is written depreciation provision so that will be written here as a depreciation provision account let's move further for the next year i found depreciation again on the credit side so we'll take the date and the amount on the credit side but this one yeah this is the same here the 31st march 13 again i am writing 6000 that is for this we will write down in particular the opposite entry that is profit and loss account so this is the end of the one year here i found total at both the side same so it get tally so there is nothing have to be passed to the next year moving to the second year uh, journal entry again i found depreciation on the debit side i'll just take the date and the amount in the depreciation account that is 31st march 2014 this time first year was 13 here is the next year here again i'll write down depreciation provision account for this entry that is 6000 and for the next entry for 2014 by profit and loss account i'm just doing ledger posting profit and loss account with the value of 6000 which is again going to get tally with the amount 6000 so here we complete the depreciation account moving to the next depreciation provision account ledger so first we'll check with the first year i year i found depreciation provision account which is on the credit side so first in the depreciation provision account i'll come to the credit side and i'll write down the date and the amount that is 31st march 2013 with the amount 6000 after writing depreciation provision i'll write down the opposite entry for the particular that is depreciation account so that is the only entry for the year see i found only depreciation provision once only in this year as a journal entry so that is the only entry come over here let's end it up with the year obviously the 6000 will come same 6000 will repeat here as there is no entry on the debit side we'll make a circle on it show it as a balance close closing balance for the year to balance cf take the balance as an opening for the next year 
that is 1st April 2013 to balance brought forward. Remember depreciation provision ka opening balance credit side aata hai. Okay. So here comes 6000 as a opening uh, closing balance comes to as a opening balance for the next year. So now we'll move on to the next year and here I found depreciation provision again on the credit side with the date 31st March 2014 with the amount 6000. So first I'll come to the depreciation provision account, come to the credit side and write down the date 31st March 2014 to here is the provision the opposite entry is depreciation. We'll write down depreciation account with the amount 6000. As you can see in the depreciation provision, the first year amount and the second year amount is accumulating. This is what the accumulation. So here comes the total 12,000. You can see there is no entry on the debit side. So this same 12,000 is going to shows as the closing balance of 12,000 on 31st March 2014 to balance CF, closing balance. Here they ask only for the first two years. So this is how we have to calculate depreciation provision account. So that's what the calculation of question number 10.